everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video because today I'm going to be talking about how to not get bored while aging up pets inside of real pets. Because I know if you're aging up pets for literally like six hours at a time, like for hours and hours at a time, it can get repetitive and boring so here are kind of like all my tips on how I stay motivated to like age up all of my pets so I can get coins gems and so I can get evolved and shiny pets too so let's just get started now my biggest tip that is probably going to be like the number one tip in this video the thing that I do all the time is listening to something in the background now you might be like what in the world like what are you talking about let me tell you as you can see I literally listen to so many videos on YouTube while I'm uh, while I'm um aging up pets I listen to all my favorite YouTubers I listen to you know you know, just videos that I want to listen to and it can really help make the task much easier and much more fun to do um, for aging up pets because it's much more fun listening to something in the background other than just sitting there for hours and hours in silence doing nothing you can listen to YouTube you can listen to music I've been loving listening to you know, you can listen to different types of playlists on, you know, Spotify, Apple Music, maybe even on YouTube. Like, sometimes I listen to music on YouTube just because my playlist is on YouTube. Um, and you can listen to podcasts if you listen to podcasts. You can listen to basically whatever. You can listen to audiobooks, which can count as literally reading. Um... I've actually, one of the things that my school does is there's like this little online reading website and they offer audiobooks on there. So, you know, sometimes you can do that or whatever. You can listen to whatever you want and it makes the process much more fun along with that. You can also watch something if you have like a second monitor or if you're sitting by a TV or an iPad or a phone or another computer or whatever. You can watch something, you can watch YouTube, you can watch a TV show, maybe Netflix, the Amazon Prime, I don't know, whatever you want to watch, you can also watch that. I feel like that goes like hand in hand to listening. You can also watch things. Sometimes what I do is I actually just stay in game, watch like a minute or two of my video, and then come back to see if I have any tasks and do the tasks while still listening. And honestly, it just helps the process of waiting around seem much more fun and interesting <laughs> and exciting. You can also read a book while you are playing. Right now, I literally have Twilight right beside me. And, you know, you can read a book while playing. I remember one time, I think a couple months ago, I went to Indigo, I got a book, and I literally just sat here reading my book and then waiting for tasks, and whenever I got tasks, I'd just do them, and I'd continue reading my book, and it's also another great way to do reading, if you always like reading, um, I would definitely recommend reading a book, Twilight's a pretty chunky book, it's not that chunky, but it has like... <laughs> 400 pages so um you know this could last you a while normally for me a book takes me like uh three hours at its lowest to read so i don't know you can start a book and you can finish a book while aging up pets and i think that would honestly <laughs> Be a great way to, A, you know, read books that you want to read, 
that you have to read and be uh, find a fun way to age up pets because yeah <laughs> and I don't know I just think that's really fun something that I've also been doing is on my phone I have been loving playing Candy Crush so sometimes I honestly just play Candy Crush while I'm waiting for tasks um is this a good thing I don't know, but I love Candy Crush. If you guys play Candy Crush, comment down below what level you are on. But you can play games on your phone or on another device that you have. Um, because it does make the process very fun. Because you're playing a fun game um, while you are also playing a fun game. And literally, I just opened Candy Crush right now on my phone. And I probably should not be uh, playing Candy Crush while I'm filming. So, um, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I, I was doing the example. Another thing that you can do is you can invite friends to play with you. And honestly, this makes my process of aging up pets so much more fun one I can actually shorten the process because if you have some really nice friends your friends um might actually help you um age up pets um which is obviously really sweet and I just think it's super fun but also just being able to hang out with your friends online is super fun I normally play in a private server and uh, yeah here is the example listening Siri I do not need you right now <laughs> goodbye Ugh. okay bye bye anyways I just have a private server that I let all my friends join and um, yeah you can play with your friends on a private server it's very fun also what I really need to start doing because I would love to do this is you could also like if you are a YouTuber or another influencer you could also send a link out to your private server and let all of uh, your viewers join I think it's really fun to play with viewers and it just makes the process so much fun when you're playing with other people as well getting to interact with them and it's really fun and I just love doing that and it just makes the process so much shorter for me you can also go on a public server you can meet some new people meet some new row pets players you can make trades you can talk about like pets that you want to get you can also do some trades while waiting for tasks i love just going into the trading center and seeing what people are offering for pets and it's also a great way to get pets that you want and then my last tip that I am going to give you is literally just to hatch eggs. Sometimes this might seem like a way to waste money, especially if you're trying to save money. But sometimes just hatching an egg makes the process so much funner, makes you so much more motivated to like actually age up pets. I don't know. But sometimes when I'm aging pets, I get so bored of aging four of the same exact pet that I just want to, like, hatch an egg real quick. And you don't even have to pay for the eggs because with these daily playtime rewards, you can get a free basic egg and a free reward egg. So these eggs can also come for free, which is really exciting. So you don't have to waste money. And so you can hatch an egg. Or <laughs> if the purpose is for saving money and for not, like, making evolves, which I feel like everyone wants to make evolves anyways. But 
if you're just trying to save some money, um, don't like always age up the same pet. Honestly, if you're getting bored of a pet that you're aging up and that pet is putting you into like a slump, like you don't want to age that pet, like you're getting so bored of seeing the same pet over and over and over again, you're not really excited to make the evolve. Just like switch to a different pet, take a break, maybe age up a different pet to row grow in, just so you can have a break from that pet. I remember when I was aging my tigers, I got so bored of aging them. And I don't know why, but aging those tigers was a really boring and tedious task for me. And um, sometimes you may just want to age another pet in between. Before we end this video, let's quickly evolve our little pig because I can evolve a pig. So let's go press evolve. Ooh, oh my goodness, a friend joined me. <laughs> oh yay, we got a star fall pig. Okay, anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please like, subscribe to my channel because it's free and it helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.